So, hello and good evening everyone, my name is Sebastian and you are watching The Novice Prospect. Welcome back to 2022 as Space Engineers Odyssey Episode 8, I believe. Um, yeah, well, we've got a little bit of cleaning up from, to do from last night. Um, also, I got a new mouse so we can now reliably use Build Vision. I've actually gone and confirmed that in my test world. And so I'm, I'm really happy with that being now a thing that I can reliably um, yeah, use and spawn, as it were. So yeah, we're just waiting now for the world to load. Um, and so we're going to have a look around and see what needs done. Um, remember we were talking yesterday about this being a part of the base as well. And I have actually sort of been thinking about an elevator system too, which maybe is going to go here. Hey Tarsus, Tarsus, hello and welcome. I, I was sort of half, half expecting for you to turn up straight away. <laughs> um, and then... That's dedication. Nah, that's dedication for sure. Um, but if you remember, I have put a ton of steel plate into production. Hoping that we can get away with that. Let me have a look at the inventories here. I'm just curious about iron. Just uh, okay, 16k. Um, it doesn't sound like it's all that much, to be honest. And if you remember, we we have a fairly large grid that wants to be built here. Um, I think it's a it's time for a quick run just over to one of the iron pits, if that makes sense, right? Um, let me go and try to remember how everything worked here. Turn everything on. Well, actually, I don't need those two guys. Just need my gyros, a bit of light, and are we... Oh, yeah, we're turned off. Uh, that would help, too. And let's, let's go. Um, yeah, gold iron. I think this was quite a good mine. So let's have a quick gander there. Um, yeah, as I say, just to get a bit more iron in, I think that's we're gonna need mostly that. We've got plenty of the other resources like silicon and, and, and nickel and that. I'm quite happy. Um, and I'm also going to do a retrofit on the rover quickly when we get back to base. Um, it's more from my own. Yes, uh, Tarsus, I did see the post in your in my Discord, and I, I will actually get to that when we're back at base. Um, yeah, you just keep going. Let me just go and do my multitasking thing. Um, so there we go. And so what Tarsus was basically referring to last night is that the reason I really shouldn't be taking the oxygen bottle with me is because it takes away pressure space uh, in my inventory that I could be using for hydrogen. Um, and then obviously when I, was, when I was looking for steel plates, well, built and repair had been busy <laughs> chewing, away, chewing away on them. Well, please tell me I've got a hole somewhere close by that I can just jump into. I think I've seen it there. Um, oh, there it is, there it is. Uh, see? Ow. Oh, this is a stone, but that's, that's not the hole I was looking for. That is not... What, what did I do? Oh, is it is it this guy? It, it looks like it would be. Yep. This is definitely something I dug. Good. Ow. Oh, this is just straight to gold. <laughs> uh, did I not do an iron thing here? I'm sure I did. Unless I missed a turn off thing. Like sometimes I do that where I just sort of... <laughs> no? Maybe I haven't dug fire in here, although I doubt that. I really doubt that I haven't. Like, sure I activated this spot. Not last time, but the time before. Let me... Uh, five, six. Go and do your thing. Show me gold, cobalt. <laughs> yeah, movable object plus immovable object. Yeah, always hurts. 
Um, yeah, so there's iron right there. I knew it. There's a thing. And I think what I've, yeah, I wanted to start here and I just didn't get back to it. That's why there's a hole here. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> um, right, just gonna right click this away. I'm not gonna carry stone with me. Yeah, yeah, I found it now. So, but yeah, I'm glad actually I got this new mouse. Just something from Amazon it wasn't actually all that expensive, but um, yeah, something on my trackball doesn't work correctly with the scrolling for build vision. Whereas that's now finally fixed. Oh, gold, uh, iron. I mean, maybe iron in them that helps. There we go. Just gonna fill up as much of the inventory space that we can. You know, on the rover and ourselves, and then take all that iron back. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping you guys like the music that I've um, picked. It's just the lo-fi stream uh, playlist from Streamlabs. Um, can't really afford to go and pay for, you know, big ass uh, playlists, so I, I, I choose free options. Um, I personally, I quite like it, it's quite chill, you know, and it can just sort of run in the background. And I don't find it quite as annoying, well I don't want to say annoying, but quite as repetitive as the Space Engineers uh, soundtrack. Mm, just doing the mining thing, doing the... the the dwarf thing, <laughs> I would almost say. Living underground, digging bigger holes. And somewhere here there's a rover, thank you, that can hold more of that. I am so glad, by the way, I've done away with those um, small uh, small car containers on the rover. They were just useless. Yeah, this is going to be probably the one that's going to fill up the cargo inventories in the cargo containers and then see what else we can take with us. Well, it may already be at maximum. We'll see. Oh no. Well, it still takes on a little, little bit. Where am I? What clanged? Will you please not do that? Please don't clang. Just please, just don't. We and down we go. Yeah, no tarsus. You're absolutely right. And the free options are most of the time the best options. It's the same when I run my servers. Uh, they most most of it on Linux because it's an available free option. It's a proven technology. It, you know, ninety percent of the internet runs on Linux, as it, as it were. And yeah, I'd, I'd rather deal with a bit of pain and suffering, as it were, from a free solution when trying to work with it than pain outrageous amounts for, you know, something that I can do much better this way. So, and I, I think we're now pretty much at the maximum of what the robot can do. Not sure, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, pretty much I don't know, I'll do. Right, um, block that, and then I can feel that weight in the rover. Um, we can turn six and five, we can turn them off. Just in case something climbed, although I don't think so. Uh, I've, I've turned built and repair on for a second, but. not like I see them flying anywhere trying to fix something, so I think it's safe to assume it's fine, so I'm trying to back off. No! Good grief, Sebastian. That would have been just about it. <laughs> the I, I, yeah, Debian, all the way. I'm, I'm the same, like, um, although I have as of late, I've, I've sort of sw switched over to Arch Linux in a lot of ways. 
Um, but when I build a server, it's still Debian. Um, just, I, I, I agree with the politics. Let's just leave it at that. I agree with their package policies. I agree with their, you know, upgrade policies, things like that. Um, backports, all that good stuff. Like, for me, Debian just always works out the box. Simple as. Um, anyway, so here we are. Now, if you remember, I have done a thing where we have a camera now. I can, I can go and actually align myself nicely. Mm, not, not happy with that. It's, yeah, see? And then that should be fine to just, nope, are we that far off? Oh, is that because of it? Oh, no, 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 no. It's exactly that, I think. I think we're just too far down for it to <laughs> lock in. Um, but there is a, there's a fix, actually, right? Let me go and grab this quick bar. Because what we can do is we can tell the... Did I really not make a group for that? Okay, so first of all we need to put all these into a... Let me just say wheels group, right? Um, because there's a thing we can do where we can tell this group to actually change the offset of its... Now where is it? Um, Propulsion speed limit friction the height offset we can decrease and sorry, do it that way um, increase the height offset okay now if I remember correctly it's on our dust down so we are already raised up as much as we could be here uh -oh. I was hoping for better but okay let me try something else this may or may not work just pull them back in actually just I'll do oh strengthen okay so thank you Tarsus there's another thing we can do uh, where's group wields we can actually tell is it let me try and find the right is it just the strength right um, I imagine so if we dump this up basically it would actually be able to deal with the load better and I, I probably should have done this to start with to be honest um, considering how much material we have actually put into the thing um, but you know again when we've already Build up uh, or build everything in a way that it's now pulled the materials out, and we should see a sh shed load of iron going through the refineries. Yes, there's one. Where's the other one? Um, and I can <laughs> build and repair going and yep, good, 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 good. I like all this. Um, I, I. Um, I'll be honest, I don't like this. Um, God. Yeah, it was the strength of Tarsus things. Yeah, I, I, I figured it out just from your <laughs> the, um, text, or from your previous comment. I don't like this transparent one. Like, I know I, I was going to show you it, but I personally just, no. Just please don't. Let's just put this guy back on. No, um, that's the wrong one. Not that one. So if we go and search for it, if we go and search for LCD, uh, yeah, just give me the normal LCD panel, please. And what do you mean I can't build that? What am I missing there? Uh, so many hotbars, good grief. Yeah, there we go. And then I can go and build this up. And then we're just going to say LCD panel auto rafting picture. And then we should see. Yeah. 
that that has been restored and I, I just like this look of it better. Um, but while I'm at it, just two seconds. Just, it's a me thing. Just bear with me. Uh, see, all three are used. Can, can, we, can we do a thing? Yes. Like so. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, much better. Much better. It's <laughs> it takes me back to my old school days of my first laptop and yeah. <laughs> I like that colour scheme. I, I I just do it. So what next? Um we could Do we want to go and build a bit more a bit more here? Do we want to go and and see what we can do here. Yeah, I, th I think we should. Um, and what is it we said we need it? Um, <laughs> did I not put this on a quick bar somewhere? Yes, I did. Right, okay. Well, components, of course. Um, and then because we're doing things anyways, give me just a whole mess of steel plate please I don't, I don't know like a couple hundred why not like why not why is this not a thing what am I doing wrong is my inventory f oh yeah my inventory is falling that would make sense why is my inventory falling I am truly confused for us oh right okay that, that would help so put everything in there um Empty the build planner for a second. Now I'll go and tell. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to pick up the steel plate right afterwards. Um, put that guy down, front facing. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So. Um, and we're gonna go grab steel plate for the next part of the build, but realistically, um, yeah, say 200 for now. Let's go and do the thing quickly. And actually also do the other thing that we were talking about just there. Yep, that is nice. We can now charge ourselves completely up. You know, get rid of that oxygen bottle. We've no need for it. Uh, come on. Uh, I was, uh, I forgot to get rid of that mod, to be honest. You know, the autofill for the bottles, but it's fine. We, we can make do. Um, so, I would like to, we're going to have to set up a few quick bars and things like that. Now, this piston right here. Alright, I should be able to say, go and do a reverse. And... Then also is a switch lock. Uh, uh, when time on it, yes. So um, that's exactly sort of the point I'm getting to in a minute, Tarsus. Um, because we were talking about this the other day, where we're gonna have a sort of grid that can take care of itself. I want to first make sure that I have clearance. Um, Okay, nothing, nothing is clanging, we're just coming up, uh, everything's good so far. Nice. Okay. Let it do that thing, and we're still locked into the ground. All oh, good. Nice. Thank you. Um, so, we need to plan a little bit. Hmm. Right. Actually, let me do the thing I was going to do for a set bottle. I was going to do first. Where is my programmable block? Surely I have put that on the bar somewhere. Uh, apparently I did not, which is fine. You know, <laughs> uh, programmable block. Just stick that on there and just. It's actually for small grid. Right, because all we need to do is just... Oh, I need two things. Wait, I forgot. There, there, there's another part we need for this. Um, is it a remote control, I believe? Yeah, 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 that's, that's the guy. But we'll also want that in small grid, please. 
Okay. That looks like we have everything now. Um, so we're gonna... The driver assist on this um, grid to start with. And you want to sort of make sure that this guy is pointing forwards into the driving direction. Right? Um, with the... Well, with the shape... Uh, yeah. You know, with, with that slant also pointing forwards. This is essentially the position that that needs to be in. Um, nope. Like so. And I know I'm blocking a port there, but I rightly don't care. Not on this rover at the moment. Um, and then I need to find the space somewhere, and I probably... Let me... Let me investigate here. Maybe there's a space somewhere here. No, that's a piston space. I can't, I can't, I can't get in there. That's... And that is what holds the piston in, so no. Um, okay, so not there. It's fine. Uh, place it there and there. Right, let me... I could just place it somewhere at the back here, maybe. Just to sort of keep it out of the way, and... It's just a driver assist. That's all I've got to do here. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Weld that up. Just while it's fresh in my mind, I wanted this done, like, <laughs> quite some time. Um, bless you. I'm here. No, oh, come on. Let me at it. Hey. Um, and this is a fairly straightforward uh, script. We're just gonna go and say, go and browse scripts, please. Oh, my controller's plugged in. There we go. And then there's the driver assisted, uh, driver assisting system, as they call it. Um, I don't really think there's much to change here, except I like to change these limits. Um, I believe backwards 50 is more than plenty, but yeah, say 180 forwards, not 1800, good grief, no. Um, okay, we, we don't want to use, or I, I'm not going to use autopilot on this rover, so we don't need a timer block. Um, yeah, seems all good. Boom. Right, and there's going to be a few failures because we've just not got artificial mass on here and things like that. We don't really realistically need any of that. Right. What I love about the driver assist system is essentially things like when you leave the cockpit, handbrake comes on automatically. You know, things like that. And it tries and keep you right at all times. It you know, when you when you leave the ground and you have thrusters on it, it will actually do its best even to make a good landing. Things like that. Um, just, yeah, convenient. Let's go, and there's a few things here that need welded up probably from us. I'll try and do this sort of our own way. Um, right, and just... I'm just, saying, just build up some things that I can from here. And then some things we're just going to have to leave to build and repair. Um, same problem there. Even ran out of steel plate for that one. Good grief. Uh, this is going to be a very expensive build. Um, let me go and... Really? You, you go and make them, right? Because I know you will. Right, and we just go and weld this stuff up, get the pistons in order, because I would like to confirm that this part is working before I go any further. Right, and then if we have this working, then yeah, we're going to make sure we can feed it energy, and ideally, we're not going to do that from the base, uh, as Tars is saying, we're going to put a wind turbine on it, um, but I will also try and somehow arrange for solar. Um, I, I really think I want to make that a thing to have a sort of hybrid. I think that is a... You know, something that we can put on any planetary body, essentially, and it'll be able to feed its own uh, power needs. 
right now. That should be that. So I'm still trying to get used to the new mouse. Oh. I literally got it <laughs> like two minutes before I started the stream. <laughs> so, um, but okay, no, I, I like the look of this already. This is looking fine. It's not looking like it's came together, like it's welded itself together in those spots. Like, I feel those are still disconnected, right? Okay, next we're gonna need these guys welded up. And we're just gonna go and feed what we have and, you know, build plan of the rest. Ding, da ding, da ding. And more of this stuff. And then say, hey, give me what you have. <laughs> we have literally chewed through all the steel bait. Um, I think we're going to have to fix that before we attempt this. <laughs> uh, I don't think that refinery is so much our problem. I think in this case I'm just going to need to, yeah, add another assembler or something like... I mean, holy moly. <clears throat> I mean, it's fine. I was fully expecting this to be a fairly expensive build, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh no, no, that was the wrong thing to do. Get rid of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's just getting worse now. Oh, good grief. Okay. Uh, back to the same old problem. <clears throat> build and repair, please. Just stop for a minute. Wait, you say you have 5,000 steel? Yeah, no, it actually sounds about right. So, I mucked up something in the piping that it won't let the parts through. Like, can build and repair not get to? Like, this container here, for example, has got tons of steel plate, but. I I honestly don't know the answer here. Um, I need to just go and check. For some reason, like built and repair should absolutely be able to build more of this, like a lot more. Ow! Careful. Um, like there should be literally no reason. This is all a big port that I came through. That they are big ports that should just pass through, I imagine. So, Taurus's question. Uh, the survival kit, does it pass through items from this side to that side? Or is it only com um, ores that go through it? Because I feel like we're not getting parts from this side of the base to over here. Just a weird feeling. <clears throat> But okay, let's try and now work out if this thing is working. Uh, we're gonna save come up. That's gotta be for sure. Um, now here's the other thing. Oh god, I forgot another thing. Um, but now that build, uh, our build vision is working better, we should be able to just... Whip. Wait, I am doing the right thing. I am pointing at it, I... and then you scroll. No? Yeah. Am I not close enough? Oh wait, that's, that's the battery, that's not what I wanted. It's that piston I want, yeah. Uh, there we go, that's working nicely now. So, yeah, distance makes a difference. Um, this one, I just need to rename it, I think. Uh, actually, yeah, again, I'm, I'm a bit of an idiot because... It's, yeah, so this is the guy that actually needs renaming, right? Where's, where's your build vision? Vision, eh, hello?
Yeah, the build version is still a bit funky at times, to be honest. Like, I... There is parts where I really struggle and get the menu up. Like, this should be a thing. I'm, I'm pointing right at, at it, you know, I'm... Hmm. Okay, but there should be only one that's locked in, I suppose. Right, we'll do it that way. Process of elimination. I, I, I didn't plan this through very well. Uh, this is unlocked, this is unlocked, this is unlocked, this is un This is the guy, right? So this is, we'll just call it temp, because it is going to go away. Right, and then these guys, they are now, we'll call this the landing gear, you know, as usual. Um, well, the landing gear feet, actually. Right, and then we, there's only one piston. Um, so the parts do get passed through. Okay. So there's a piston still complete because, yeah, I'm a little bit of an idiot. I have the parts on me. They're right there. <laughs> they, they pass through. So I, I find that weird because build and repair seems to act as if there's no access to certain... Or maybe it could be because I've not told... No. This is all stuff that is not built up. I, I, I don't know. I need to check in. It could be the settings, actually, from my end. Um, anyways, the reason I was doing all this is now we have the pistons. Naming yet again. I don't mind. We're just going to do the whole replace name. This is now the landing here, we'll call it, right? Save and we need to make sure. I think we need need to share that inertia tensor. I just have a feeling otherwise Clang will visit. And do not auto lock. And that all seems fine now. Okay, go and set up the hotbar. We have group, and we'll do that back here. Um, where we just say reverse. Yeah, no, that's what I thought, Tarsus. And I, I, as I say, I was just confused about the fact that built and repair doesn't seem to build certain parts. But it could be, it could be to do with the fact that I've actually uh, not enabled the functional blocks yet. Maybe it's maybe those. I don't know yet. Switch lock. There we go. And now I'm hoping to be able to do uh, this. Does it all come out? It's looking good. It's looking good. I like it. And then we need to unlock here. Let this come all the way up. Nice. And then we can lock those four in. I think this is a valid construction. We we, we, we have built the, you know, the landing here from last time. I'm already happy with that. fighting against built repair. Like, I want to build it up. No, I'm grinding it down. No. It's... That's it. I did get the right part. And then just take that piston away. Um, oh, I pushed this the wrong way. Oh, that was funny. Well, it's fine. And yes, there we go. This looks fine. Um... And I think we're just gonna go and fill it out the now, right? I will use some of the space inside for things like piping and that. That is going to be a thing. But, you know, I, I want to sort of start and actually have an idea what it looks like. I want to see it fleshed out once we've sort of filled all the empty spaces here. Oh. And get a feel for how heavy it's gonna be, you know, like all those sort of little details. I'm gonna have a feel for all of that. But no, this this looks good. I like it. So nice, nice, nice. Check out 
check buildings, uh, build repairs, uh, conveyor system connections. Ooh, that is a thing, actually. Yes. Thank you, Tarsus. That is actually a good piece of advice. So what we can do is we can go up to building repair, all right, and we can make sure that <coughs> blocks to build, missing items, none. Oh. Uh, no, 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 please don't. Okay, so what we're needing to check first, that's sort of an important one, use conveyor system. It's enabled, and it, it seems to be fine because it just says, well, I'm building these blocks, that's, that's all I'm doing. So it, it looks fine from my perspective, okay? I, please do not pick up gravel. Is there any way of, yes this disable that please <laughs> we're getting rid of it <laughs> um that's a me thing uh, uh, so you know we may have actually wasted resources from built and repair as well just at trying to collect gravel that we've been consistently throwing out <laughs> uh, talk about a race condition there um cool i still feel like we want another assembler to be honest and I, I, okay, let's let's have a quick look at the ingredient situation here. What does it look like? Um, actually, not too shabby. Like we've got plenty of the components that we've you know put in production. We've got some left, some extras in some cases from taking stuff apart, but. You know, it all looks actually like we were supplying the, the items. I think we're actually in a net positive. Right, so that's actually a good thing right there. Right, what is our rover going to need? First, we said we're going to do power. Um, and I think what I would like to do is, let's see, this is sort of one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's already fairly high. You know, I, I like that because we can just probably do something like, say, come up two more. All right. I'm, I'm trying to visualize it at, at the same time. And now what we're gonna, I think we're gonna have to. There's not gonna be enough space in between, anyways. So different plan. We'll center it. Get rid of that block, and then what we're going to do is bring it up here in the middle. Like, say, like so. Right? Yeah! Yeah, why not? Just like so. Okay, and then we're just going to go and up. I think that, what was that? Interior plate, I think it wants for that. Yeah. So that's fine. Hey, and the sun's up. We're no longer in the dark. <laughs> uh, interior plate, where where art thou? It's not you. Um, and the reason I'm not always using the search is because I'm still trying to get used to the actual, like, iconology. You know, I want to be able to quickly look at inventories and sort of figure out, oh, wait, there it is. Hey, like, in this case. It's sort of... Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning the game, so, you know, it, it behooves me to try and not be too lazy with all the shortcuts and that. And even though, obviously, this is already a fairly heavily modded game in itself, out of, you know, the gameplay where we do, um, I, I still think it really behooves me to sort of pay attention to those details and try and learn them as well as I can. Right, and now here is another thing. This in itself is not going to work. Well, it will, but we need to do a thing. Right, if I'm not mistaken, there is no actual, like, I don't think I can set it on a hotbar. Unless I can, but I don't think I can. Um, main cockpit. 
Uh, I know exactly what I'm looking for, so no, I, I can't see it here. Um, and maybe on another block. But basically what we need to do is we need to tell this whole grid that we are wanting to be a station for, this, mm -hmm. for the time being. All right, and we'll call this mobile base. Right, that's sort of the intention, what it's going to be anyways. Right? Nice. No. Mobile base, please. Okay. And then say convert to station. And there we go. Now you see the wind, uh, the, the yeah, windmills or, you know, whatever, actually going into action and they're going to fill up the batteries. Slowly but surely, you know, it's it's not going to be the best or the fastest process, but we can certainly go and do something along the lines of, well, first of all, you know, the usual. Um, and then we'll call this um, MB batteries, you know, as in mobile base. Um, and then we can do something like say, nope, all right, wrong button. Like, so get that group of batteries and just say, hey, we want to go and uh, say, recharge on off, say. That seems like a good option to sort of go in. And we can see the basically the battery charge status, right? Um, so 30% and, and they're just gonna do their thing now and build and repair is gonna do its thing. So, you know, nice. And we don't need to worry about powering the grid from our static grid here. Um, just very important that before takeoff, we need to make sure that we convert it back into a ship. Right. Um, but as far as I'm aware, you can do that process as many times as you need to with any grid. You know, as long as you're sort of following the <laughs> obvious rules of space engineers. You know, like Clang. Worship Clang. Just make sure you don't forget about him. Otherwise, he will eat your contraption. Um, so I like the idea of having that there and what I would love to have, and I need to sort of think about that, I would like to have solar on here as well, and I'm thinking, if you bear with me, there may be an opportunity, hmm, is this the middle? So that's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the middle block right there. Right. So if I was to see that here, and this should be fine integrity wise. Like, shouldn't lose any other grid. Mm. It's not gonna be a thing. Can we? How big are those? Let Let me try and do something here. I'm, I'm just trying to measure out. Just for the thrills and giggles. Yeah, going from the size. Oh, okay. So that is what? Four blocks. Four blocks. One in the middle that we could actuate from. Oh, I have I have a plan here. I, I don't know. It, it sounds dangerous and it sounds like it's going to be a bad idea. I still want to do it. If I was to align the panel like this, right, could we have it come out of the grid? And and I assume almost right now, thinking about it, the answer's got to be no, actually. Because when you place these guys down, right, let's, let's go and do that for reals for another second here. We go and, yeah, just go and help ourselves quickly to the components that we need. Excuse me. Like, are you telling me I have no girders? Girders. Oh, okay. Is that right? I can't even tell on the screen. Girders. No, I should have a hundred and I have none. Okay, built and repair is doing its thing. Then that is fine. Um, then we're just gonna have to make more. Uh, 
Right, no problem, Tarsus. Tarsus says be right back, so. Um, oh, this, this is, this is painful now because, um, yeah, all those components are literally right now being eaten up for those wind turbines. And this is exactly what I was referring to. That's why I was needing, what I was thinking of another assembler. And you know what? I'm just gonna go do it. We gotta do the thing. Just honk one there. Right, just don't care. Just uh, empty that other build planner for a second. And we're going to go and build this guy up. Two seconds, guys. Be right back. Mm, back again. Sorry, guys. <coughs> Heck, support. <laughs> uh, no, not two of them. Sebastian is an idiot again. And the fact that I'm talking to myself probably doesn't help. Yeah, put us in pro into production, please. We need, like, all this stuff. Like, come on. What are we lacking? How... Welcome back, Tarsus. Um... How in the actual... Frig... Are we lacking that badly? Have we chewed up all the iron? Holy moly, I believe we have. I, I, I'm not even kidding. We, we have literally chewed up all of the iron. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a bit more of an expensive build than I actually imagined. We, we haven't even built much functionality yet. <laughs> um... So, for example, you can see it's already turned on the, the the gyros for me, the drive assist. Um, but we, we can now pelt along here quite some pace. And it is just going to keep us nicely grounded and, and stabilized. Um, and you can actually also send commands into the script. Um, so, I'm going to show you that quickly while we are here. Um, what you could do, for example, and I need to actually look at the script to make sure I don't edit. Um, there's things that you can send into it to actually make sure, for example, for your autopilot. Um, handbrake mode, timer... Da, da, da. Mm. Trying to understand myself at the moment. Two seconds. Um, but you know, here's all these options that you have um, for extra, for, yeah, overrides and, and if it uses gyros and your your uh, thrusters, things like that. Um, okay, but, but so the, the way that would normally work is, right, you would basically grab the programmable block onto here and then you would say run and then something like say like if say if, if this was the command to add a waypoint you would send this basically and so every time you hit that button it would then run that command in that uh, program or block right so you can always go and actually change the, you know <clears throat> or interact with your script you can, you can change things on the fly um, but another thing I absolutely love about this script is things like when I hit the handbrake Oh, no, 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 no! It was supposed to exactly prevent that. Oh, no, no, no. But, DAS should at the very least frighten me again. Or try to. Yes. I've... Oh, good grief. Like, why is it with me and Ruin and my grids? 
I mean, look at this mess. <laughs> Smoking everything. I've, I've, I've lost my connector. <clears throat> There'll be parts lying about somewhere here as well, no doubt. Or maybe they just literally got scrapped. Who knows? But yeah, I mean, come on. Just glad that it didn't damage the piston area. From what I can see anyways. That area looks fine. What else is smoking here? Or you are? Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I've done a thing. It's fine. But so the point was actually that if you hit maybe not the handbrake, but if you hit the normal brake, you can see the effect that I've just had there. But DAS is actually trying to prevent that as much as it can. Um, I think my wheels are broken too. My front wheels. So I, maybe it's just an optic thing. Whoa! No! 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 Don't you dare do that again. I think we're gonna need no the wheels are okay. I think we're gonna need more gyros to be honest. Feels like like it doesn't have enough authority to actually stop that inertia. Okay, um Where's my iron hole? Is it that's it, I think. Ow. Again with that. No, this is it? Yes it is. <clears throat> okay. A mining we, we will go. A mining we will go. And so forth. Please don't hit me, YouTube algorithm. It's not a copyright strike, I, I promise. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know, we, we do the usual. We just grab plenty of other stuff and bring it back. No, I did do a whole thing there, see? I, I knew I'd done a thing like this. So yeah, there's multiple holes for my iron now. Who cares? Can we deposit stuff? Oh, what, what? oh that cargo container is gubbard. Oh, this is just... And can we pass things in there? Yes, we, we can at least do that. Now, where was... Uh, is it this guy? I think so. Yes. Chaos ensues every single time, I swear. I don't think if I should be allowed near space engineers, to be honest. Uh, but then the same could be said about any game and me. So, you know, it's all good. I never went me in racing games, that's a different story entirely. Yeah, you suck. No, I just don't know, know, know the meaning of a break. There's, no, there's a difference. Suck. Well, yeah, there, there's that too. So, stick that in there. And, yeah, we're already pretty much well. Ah, this is fine. Oh, wait, I think. Is, 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 yeah, that's the base right there. Ah, it's all fun and games. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we are about five minutes away from having to cut today's episode episode slightly short. Um, I have a long stream planned for tomorrow. No, is it? No, oh, that's Thursday, isn't it? No, Thursday we have our nephew. Oh, is it? No, is it so tomorrow? it'll be tomorrow. Build a landmark for reference. Yeah, that would probably help. <laughs> um... But it will also help if I didn't just go and destroy my rover every single time I draw it. Stop. I'm surprised the camera is still active. Like, what on earth? I've damaged almost everything else at the back end. But you know, the most... How would you say? Uh, a little bit sharp. Um, the most sensitive component of all. Well, it's absolutely fine. Now, I wonder... Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot that part. Can't do that because we have no connector. <laughs> I can't connect to the, uh, to the base without a connector. You know, it's a thing. It's, it's, it's a whole... It's a whole thing I did. 
oh, I need more components and oh, I just need so many things and I am building this too, aren't I? Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, and so we're gonna have to tell Build and Repair very kindly to just please not be, just not, just, just stop being, just don't. Uh, and then we shall grab, well we have a whole bunch of material we can force through there. And I've probably done a thing now where this connector, no, the connector is fine. It'll have left that through, so okay, cool. We can then. Um... Oh my god, yeah, I've got two. Is it two things in the build plan? Yes, they are two different things. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, build, we're building up different things at the same time. Just because I was feeling that like steel plate was a thing, anyways, and then. I realized that I had run out of iron anyway, so it's all it's all a big meme here at the moment. Um, give me as much of the iron as you can. Oh, we've picked up the scrap though. Great fun. And yeah, the stone didn't get ejected either, you know. <laughs> because the connection to the connector to the ejectors was broken as well, so it's really done a number here. Give me that inventory again, please, and then just give me all this as well. What else we got? Yeah, give me them. And then we'll just have to fix that as we're now <coughs> building these things here. Oh, no. Just done a thing again. Yeah, yeah, I've done a thing where. Oh! I need a point at the inventory. Construction components, that's these guys. See, I have them here already, which I can grab, and we're just going to put them in there. And then we're just needing computers now. What do you mean I need 45 computers and I only have, like, what, it seems to just disconnect there. There's computers, and, oh, that is actually it in computers at the moment. Okay. All components successfully withdrawn? No, you haven't. Don't lie to me. And the build plan is obviously empty for that reason, but it's fine. I can just... Waiting on those last computers now. Yeah, that should be it. Now we have a another assembler in the working. Yeah, right. Just helping us out. Just making more steel plane. And then we can hopefully now go and say, you need fixed and you may or may not have components for me. Um, I mean, I said I was going to fix you and you're not even doing this thing. Yes, nah. Ah, uh, don't worry guys, I'm just slowly but surely losing my mind. And there we are, back to functional on that again. So we can at least reach blocks back through that way. And oh well, guess what? I have not got any steel plate on me. Because of course I don't. Oh, there, there, there's... No, no, not that. Not that either, that. Thank you. Um, just go and try and fix this up quickly and then... The connector back on there. Right? I'm doing this every single time. This is enough now. It's going on its own bar. Boom, there. Wait. I can never find it otherwise. Um, then it goes in like so. And then we're going to build this up. And then of course we're going to miss a few things. Um, draw that. And that is almost back to working order now. You're just missing, what's this, uh, sorter, this is all fine, and then we can just build these up ourselves, and yeah, we're back in working order 
I think. Like, I believe that to be true. Oh. Um, hook up to base. You know, just because energy. And then... Oh yeah, I need to go and because that is not the same connector as that. And then we say switch lock, yes. However... Uh, connector? Connect, connector? Oh, you're not connector too, you're just connector, please. And... Uh, use for parking. Trading mode, collect all, throw out. So it doesn't do an auto lock, right? Just make sure. Show on toolbar config. No, it, it seems fine. I think we can literally just say, hey, go and give me that camera, please. And we are uh, off. And we can literally just slowly inch our way back to base. This should work, right? Yes, and then we can lock in again, you know, good old locked into base. Nice, love it. Cool. Um, I, I don't know the solution yet. I think we're going to just weld these guys up ourselves. Uh, you're fully built and Suda's missing a few things, right? We'll go and get those built up ourselves. We've built and repair out of that. And then it should just be a matter of literally just either iron plate, uh, steel plate. Talk about a close shave here. Like, whoa. Building this close to the blades is always a bit. Yeah, I, I would like to say. janky. It, it, it doesn't fill me with confidence that that is the best place to start. <laughs> Anyways, um, we've made a little bit of progress here so far. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna just rip this whole thing apart at some point. Probably next episode. Um, just chop all these off. I'm not gonna let it fall. I, I want to recover the materials, obviously. Um, chop all this off. We, we don't really need it anymore at that stage. We're gonna leave. These, this piece intact, up to that connector and, you know, this whole contraption with the ejector. So we can still get rid of gravel down there. And then... Yeah. Get built and repair back on that job. Let's go and like, quickly look at what I was talking about with the solar. Because I have a suggestion, or I had, I had a feeling that what I was thinking of is probably not going to work so here's my plan or here was my plan and I think it's not going to work because right here it's fully attached right I don't think there is any way for me to attach this maybe it is I, I, I would need to see it in action but like, I would love to have ideally let's let's try and get in here get these blocks away I'm just sort of spitballing here with, with, with an idea. I, I don't know if it's... And then I would have a... It's then against this block, I would imagine. Right. Like, literally this little one by one. There's a guy. Um, this way, I'm sure, is correct. Right, and then I would need to take these away. So it doesn't clang there. Right. Is that gonna attach on those? I don't know. But yeah, the idea is to basically sink the whole solar panel in here. Oh, I, I, I feel like I want to try and do that. Just think that it's not going to work because somewhere it's going to attach that solar panel, I think, when we weld it up. 
but you know, we, we, we can try. Um, can I... I don't know, I'll have to just take this one away too. And then I would pop this up. Right, add that too, and then give me the component, please. I think that'd be really awesome. Like, with this, can we move this piston just on its own? Like, can we just make this? Yeah, move it to an iron vein. Well, that's sort of the whole point that I'm gonna try and rebuild it or have this thing be able to spawn us little minor camps, if you will. Um, but, like, if we... If I went the other way, is it going to go anywhere? Is it going to rip anything apart? Looks good. It's, it, it's doing the thing. So that's, that's cool. Then the next step is, can I take you, now that this, I need to align this correctly. I uh, sometimes really struggle with this part. Sorry guys, um, this I think is the alignment that we would be looking for. No, it's not. Yeah, like so, but I, I would need to be on the... Yeah, like so, but the other way around. Come on. How do I? Is it page down? Nah, it's not gonna let me do that, I think. Search. And. Nah, see, it doesn't want to let me attach on that. love that but I don't think that's gonna be a thing like, I... can we not even at the bottom I... come over like not going to happen, I think. Because if I do this, it's just going to be attached to the actual grid. But that's my problem. I need it attached to this piston plate, if you will. Or this top piston part. Um, I could try. Oh, is this going to make me lose? No, that should be fine. Try and just rip this off for a second. Uh, I, think I know I'm already over time here, but, but let me just. I want to try this as an experiment. And if that's not going to work, then I'm gonna have to rethink what I'm going to do with the saw. It, it's going to happen <coughs> on the ship. But I would like it to be a foldable or, you know, retractable solution. Something that isn't going to stick out like a sore thumb as you're trying to careen through the atmosphere at a 150 meters a second or something like that. Let me just try this. <coughs> I have a feeling it's probably going to try really terribly, but why not? No, it's, that's the wrong block. It's this what I want it. It is the correct way, but it's sort of wanted over the other way. Um, insert. 
Yeah, I see it doesn't want to, it, it's attaching it there on the grid. But it doesn't want to go onto that piston, I think. It would go that way. And you know what, we're going to try that. If that's what you want to do, then we'll chop it here. Slot it. I have no clue if this guy if this is going to be a thing that I can actually do. Let's let's just try it. Like it attached. Yeah, that is the block and it's going right in there. And to those ones. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> you have to go too. No battery blocks, if there's nothing there at the moment. So it's all just empty space that we can work with. Come on. Also, while I'm on the subject, I'm just talking to myself here really, um, this grinder seems awful. I wonder if we have the resources to make a better one. I should almost imagine that we do. Uh, production, basic tools, where is it? Here, the, the, the enhanced grinder. Nickel, cobalt and silicon. Yeah, we, we, we have all that. Go on, please. Oh, guess what? It's our old friend. One more time. Why? Oh. So, yeah, I keep forgetting. And I'm going to just show this quickly. I'm just in case people are wondering. I'm really stupid sometimes. <laughs> um, oh, come on. Just lock me in there. Right? Um, so when I, for example, loosen the handbrake with the driver assist system, um, no, so if I unlock the connector, that's what it is, it will normally also set off the handbrake, but I've sort of interfered with that now too many times. But to attach to right okay yeah so Tarsus is saying I'm gonna need to try and place blocks to attach to or that solar panel um going the wrong way going over here and of course the hole needed to be wider which obviously I did realize um but, you know, it, it's the question is gonna, what's gonna happen when I weld it up? Is it gonna try and attach to the rest of the grid or not? You know, on the opposite side, that's sort of my, say, biggest fear. Whoa, that was a big hole. <laughs> Drove right through that. That's fine. And then I can just go and leave, and the handbrake's on. I need the different. Oh my god. Um. Yep, I'll take it. I'm not even gonna. Well, wait here, might as well fill up. It doesn't take us long. So. And do this now, thank goodness. Um. Need more iron. But yeah, so as I say, we're actually a little bit over the time I was allotting for today's stream and just you know, life. <laughs> life happens. Um But as I say, I wanna really quickly try and do this idea and just see if we can make that work or not. Um so let's get back to base. <clears throat> Oh yeah, 
lag from send to receive is always quite a quite an issue. Um, like I am already on a low latency connection here, um, but I think there is a imposed delay as well between what I do and yeah when you actually get to see it on YouTube. So you know it's all part of being a streamer I suppose, and you just have to sort of live and roll with the punches there. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to dock into the base. I, I've got enough iron on myself to just come to a halt and just put you in, there in that state and you just take all that, please. And I would imagine that now in production, this guy should be getting made for us. Right, fantastic. And then this can just go in there somewhere and let, you know, let, um, Inventory management deal with that. Need to now change our quick bar quickly. Uh, character tools, new grinder. Hey, we already level up all our tools. I like that. Um, so let's try this solar thing. Like I would like to just see. I, I know it's this. It's not there where we're attaching. Yeah, that's where we would attach, okay. And of course I didn't bring parts with me. That would have been helpful. Um, but let's see. I now go and do something like so. Right. The question really is what happens on... Not here, because we should be attached only on that piston part, right? But what's what's happened here? Has it gone and... It doesn't look like it. I'm gonna try it. Are we gonna, are we gonna try and do it? Am I gonna try and remove that piston? Hail Clang. All Hail Clang right now. Come on. Dear Build Vision, you can be a real pain in the butt sometimes. I have access to a panel right there. I have access to oh a panel right there. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna be very gentle here. We're also gonna say share the inertia tensor. And then velocity we're gonna just go 0 0.1. And nothing. <clears throat> no. No movement. Like... That piston should surely be doing something right now, like, if, if we've done this right. Come on. Uh... It's attached somewhere. Yeah. Okay. That is a shame. Okay, I'm gonna have to come up with something different here then. I imagine, actually, that it is... I, I have a feeling. So, this block. No, it isn't. As a matter of fact, this guy. I think he's the one that held Vogel's back here. Quite literally. <laughs> Tars is saying, Hail Clang! <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> oh, you crack me up, pal. Love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> right, let's try this again. Point one. Ah. Ah, we're still attached somewhere. Where? Where? That's, that's the question. Is it? I'm just going to try and cut blocks now. Oh, it was indeed right there. So what if we done this? Put this block back in? Just curious. Because now you're, you're, you're freely moving here, right? Seems to be anyways. And I may actually not have enough length, and if that's the case, Next to so, yeah, 
uh, it's it's weird how you know attachment works in this but i have a feeling i'm maybe one block short in terms of pistol length and we we're gonna be brave enough to just extend the the thing fast oh it's already done the thing okay so oh that's two block lengths isn't it yeah that's two block lengths okay okay but okay you know this it's it's something i could probably make work somehow something along the lines of this yeah you know on on each side i, I would want it to be let me okay, i'm gonna think about this in between episodes but as a proof of concept of what i think i would like to do i sort of like that right Let, let's go and weld this up we're gonna try and pull it in and see what it behaves like just w whether it's gonna insta attach or whether it's gonna stay free um and so we're gonna just very gently maybe a bit faster this time we're gonna just say say minus 0.5 right and so let you come back in and and see what happens here on this end seems fine now bring it back out because i think i may have solved it like I, I just need to obviously prettify it and make it the right dimensions but um 0.5 yeah 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 it's coming out and it's not attaching anymore and theoretically i can fill this whole space out literally like so that is actually the idea here right that basically from the outside and i don't know if it's gonna work we're gonna try this right now more steel plate one two three just make me those or give me those please for those three blocks thank you um But I think actually if you build it in the right order you can make you know things like this that make it actually quite I would say quite seamless to sort of make it disappear. I, I quite like this whole idea of yeah um we go now say point I mean not quite as fast just so I can see it doing its thing here. But yeah, so that by the time we're basically getting ready for lift off, right? This thing would be pulled in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. You know, this is a lot less obtrusive, and it's certainly not screaming. Oh, we're gonna rip it off the next time we fly. You know, I really like this idea. So let me play with this um, in my head, and then next time I think we're gonna try and pretty this up a little bit you know and make it a little bit more functional um and i have a few ideas on what i can do here but yeah i think i like this approach quite quite nicely it's it's yeah i, I like this i don't know i might just I, I do same with you know the disappearing a uh, disappearing landing gear so it's it's quite nifty like we, we can do a thing right now even and if you do it gently, there's absolutely pro no problem with this. You can say, hey, we're, we're, we're just not going to lock in the landing gear and we're going to bring it down. Oh, that's not going to work. Because we're a static grid. Remember, we need to say info, convert to ship. And this should be fine. If I now hit 9, yeah, we're getting brought down. But now the beautiful thing is... If I've done this right, this whole grid should literally settle on the ground entirely. Like, completely seamless. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Seamless, not streamlined. But yeah, this is essentially exactly what I'm looking for. You know, something that can sort of fold in on itself. This, I don't know how I'm going to fix that yet because I don't like the idea of having it here in flight. I may build up the ship big enough so that this is actually sort of maybe 
protected, if you will, during flight. You know, something along those lines. But yeah, we can go and bring the whole grid back up here. Yeah, the camera was a bit wonky there. Pardon me. I really like this whole mechanic of being able to make that disappear. Anyways, <clears throat> I think for now, I'm really happy with what we've done so far for today. You know, it's, I know it's not an awful lot, but we have a working concept for having solar on board now as well. Um, we've got, you know, the, the grid. Oh, the grid's not going to charge if I don't make it static again. And this is going to be a thing that's going to annoy me. Okay. I can't. Why not? This is weird. Like, did you guys see that? <laughs> Always tempting clang. It's a station now, please. Yes. And there we go. So now it's it's, it's the grid is charging again. Um but yeah. I I, I get it, Tarsus. I you know you're you're saying this is tempting clang very much so. I would need to see it in action, but I believe it's something I can make work somehow. And as I say, I would have it on both sides. Um, possibly two panels each side, something like that. We'll see. Um, as I say, let me think about that between episodes. Um, I'll probably go and do a bit of off-camera work just to get more iron in. Um, iron, silicon, nickel, a bit of cobalt if we still need it. But that's literally just so you don't have to watch me drill. Right, but other than that, I would say see you next time. Thanks for watching, and please leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. It's always appreciated. Or leave a comment if you have questions. You know, always here to help. And yeah, thanks again, and peace out.